All right, hi everybody. You know what I like to do? I like to bring in people that are smarter than me. <laughs> and today I have brought in the ultimate genius, <laughs> Dr. <Wiley> Scott. Coyote? <laughs> <laughs> so this guy I have a tremendous amount of respect for. I consider him literally the smartest man in the industry and a good friend. So today we're gonna to be training chest. And we're gonna be talking about uh, how to build your chest and some different cues along the way. So stay tuned and get ready for an awesome chest workout. All right, so a lot of people who don't have good chest development are delt pressers, and their delts will come in, come in forward, they'll kind of slump their shoulders, and they engage the anterior deltoid more than the chest, which we're trying to train here. If you want to do that right, you pull the scapula back, like John's doing, his chest is high. You can almost imagine yourself sort of doing almost a fly, even though it's a pressing movement. It takes the triceps out, and you can even see the pecs are contracted. They're getting shorter. Totally different activation pattern here in biomechanics with the scapula back, chest high. Perfect. It burns. All right. Johnny's going to do a heavy set here. Let's leave a couple in the bank and then adjust the cam. And that adjusts the resistance curve over the range of motion. It makes it a little bit easier at the end. Come on, you can see he fell there near the end. So now we're adjusting. He's got plenty of strength at the beginning of the movement. At the end is where he's dying. So this is one, one form of set extender. One way of intensifying things. Come on, Johnny, good. You just got a nice hold there to make sure you got a good contraction at the end. Good, 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 go. Come on. Go. And of course now we have the classic set extending technique. The good old drop set. And now he's just going to bang these out. So we got some really good loading initially, obviously. And now we're getting a, a nice amount of metabolic stress, which gives us that beloved pump. Nice. Good work, Johnny. Obviously, we warmed up to that. So we were doing sets of eight. I think we probably did four or five sets. This is our very first exercise. Kind of a cold day in Columbus. So definitely warm up before doing something like that. So Johnny's doing these with sort of your traditional chest pressing grip, but I use, I've been using a neutral grip. I got some shoulder issues I'm trying to keep from inflaming. So I'd use those parallel handles. Keep the elbows dipped down low. Um, but still focusing on activating the pecs. So definitely the, there's evidence, EMG evidence, for instance, to suggest that the mind-muscle connection is a real thing. And you can do that, even if biomechanically you're not in a place that would favor pec activation. So what we're doing here is sets of six. And just like we did with the machine, what we're doing is we're really going to work up to a drop set. So we're going to do two sets of six, and then we're going to hit a really hard drop set. One of the mental cues I put in my own head at the end there is fight the tendency I have to want to press with my delts, press with my triceps, engage muscles other than my, my chest. 
even if the weight starts to slow down, then I can just focus on the pecs. It's still going to be a failure rep. I've had, to, I've had to force myself to do that because I'm very progressive overload oriented. So it's my tendency to just want to get rep after rep after rep, but they're just wasted reps if you're not hitting the target muscle. Sure. <laughs> Come on, Johnny. Six. So you can see we just did a leverage drop set there. We both dropped the weight and changed the leverage so that we lightened it at his failure point. Let him carry out more, more reps. Come on, John. These are just fun as hell. Come on, all chest, all chest. So this is, this is nothing fancy, but what you might not be able to see here, as we put in a slight decline, we just got a 25 pounder under the foot of the bench. Come on, Johnny. We've got a nice arch, and now we're doing a drop set. Now we're looking for reps, all in the pecs. See that arch in his back. Still thinking the same cues, shoulder blades back. Imagine you're hugging something at the middle of your midline of your body. Kind of like a pec fly, but it's just a press. So triceps are out of the picture. Come on, Johnny. Keep moving. Keep moving. Come on. Good. Yeah, for this one, we just did sets of six. Really focusing on a nice controlled negative as well. Uh, just took a couple to get to that weight because we got a nice pump going so far. All right, give me more, Nate.
Okay, got Johnny doing some cable flies here. Now John is wired well and he does a great job of activating the pecs. One of the things that I've struggled with is being a, more of a delt presser. On my set, I was focusing on trying to bring the pinkies together, externally rotating at the shoulder. That takes the anterior delt out of it. Now he's doing pulses at the end to finish off. It's our last, last set, mountain dog training. Come on, Johnny. There you go, all chest. Those are pulses. We used to do something close to that, and here's an isometric, and he's done. Good stuff, Maynard. So previous to these pec flies, we had done two sets of eight, and then this last set with the partials. So that finished up the brutality of mountain dog training workout for today. All right, so yes. I know not everybody has a variable resistance machines. So an easy way to substitute that is instead of changing the cam like we were doing, it's just drop the weight a little bit more. So just make it an extra drop. So we change the cam and then we drop the weight. So what we want you to do is do two drops. Right. Um, that's it, man. Yeah. If you can't do the leverage drop, then just do an actual weight drop. Get yeah. as close as you can. Yeah, so blow up your chest. <laughs>